How's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to be playing some Cthulhu. I I am very tired because yesterday I did a subathon on my stream where basically every time someone subbed, it added five minutes to the total stream time. And it went for over 14 hours, I think. So that's where I am. However, I, I did get a good Cthulhu game the other day. Or was it yesterday? It might have been yesterday with a health build that was actually really fun and i wanted to try it specifically in this type of matchup and we're going to see how it works um anyways the build it's going to be interesting against soul to say the least um i don't know what relic i want maybe a brace of radiance i kind of like a brace of radiance uh yeah why not anyways the build is Warding Sigil into a health build with Stone of Gaia on Cthulhu. And basically, you're super, super tanky with his passive and his ultimate and stuff. And you're just healing so much from Stone of Gaia. And also, this has physical and magical protection to deal with these stupid mages that are auto-attack based that go, you guessed it, mannequins. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yeah. I'm pretty tired with uh, these auto-attack mages that go mannequins, if you guys cannot tell. But basically... This is some sort of attempt to counter this meta. So hopefully I don't take a million damage from mannequins like I normally would in the early game. That's kind of the idea. That's the idea. That's what we're hoping. It's still going to be very difficult because obviously mannequins is very good. But we'll see. We'll see. And be trying to apply our passive as much as possible. I only learned the other day. I'm like Master Kate Cthulhu. And I only learned the other day that if you use a uh, Cthulhu one facing towards somebody, it actually. Oh no, am I dead? Oh! <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it actually applies two stacks of torment. I didn't know that. I always thought it only applied one stack of torment. But no, if you're looking towards them, it applies uh, two, which is great. I'm gonna back before I die. That was a funny first blood. Would you say this makes my tentacles look big? Oh man. What I would give to not see another mannequin's auto attack mage. Cause it it does physical damage, but they're a magical character, and that's what makes it so annoying. But with this, with this this item, I'm tanky. I'm so tanky. And I still do a lot of damage because Kazu has big regular damage, so this is nice. Even villains need to watch their backs. All right, we need to keep this lead, though. The downside to this build is mana sustain. Mana sustain is kind of uh, garbage. Also, if we were up against a physical god, we would go with mystical mail instead of talisman here. Oh, I should have actually let her hit that. Uh, she would have helped me clear it. Super important that she doesn't steal this, by the way. Because if she steals this, I lose pretty much all my pressure. Alright, we're good. Let's use our mana potion anyways. We're going to stay for a while. But anyways, we're going to go Talisman of Energy into Stone of Gaia. And then from there, I kind of forget the build. But pretty much just a bunch of health. And then some regular damage items. To keep us in the game. But yeah, if I'm talking a little bit quieter than normal, just because I, I was talking for 14 hours straight yesterday, and I can feel it in my voice a little bit. I'm mostly taking it easy today, but I still wanted to record a game since, since it's been a while since I got a game on YouTube. I will also give credit to uh, one of my viewers, DatBillyMan, where he also goes by a bunch of different usernames. Uh, but he's the one who suggested this build. And it's actually it's actually really good into this mannequin specifically. The mannequin's mages, I think. All right. That is a Ring of Akate. That's fine. We have zero power, so it doesn't do anything to us, which is kind of funny. Oh, 
was a little bit scary, but we're good. We're good. No, damn it. Should have canceled it earlier and dashed away. All right, we're gonna get ties from Angie and Stone of Gaia. Get some, well, I don't need boards yet. If she takes Demon King, she takes it, but um, right now I need to spend all of my money towards my build. Because the faster I get the stone guy, the sooner, or the better. Unlucky. I will need anti-heal, though. We will need divine rune, most likely pestilence as well. Who knows? Taking these minions. Oh, is she just going for a sneaky demon king right now? No. Hmm. All right, we'll go for our blue buff. I think for power items, we definitely want something with pen, like Divine Ruin. We want like kind of hybrid items because straight power won't help us too much with a super high tanky build. We're just kind of going bruiser for the most part. <clears throat> All right, I'm outie. Looks like she's going another ring. That's fine for us. Now I'll get some wards, I think. Uh, would like to save the gold, but I think at this point she can take Demon King super fast. Plus she's getting wards, which tells me she's probably going to go try to sneak it anyways. This tier two stone a guy will also give us some sustain. It sounds weird going stone a guy into a god without any knockups or stuff, but it's just for the passive healing, honestly. Passive healing is good. I didn't mean to cancel my alt. I think that's a bug. <laughs> I've learned that the other day that if you press Cthulhu alt too fast, too many times, it just auto cancels. It sucks. Okay, well that's her backing. That's a, that kind of sucks. Wish I could have stopped that. That's all right. For those that don't know, Bracer Radiance. I don't know. I'm, I like want it to be good. I've been building it every now and then. What's nice about it is you just always have it, pretty much, with Bracer Radiance, and that's really nice. She gets red buff. I don't really want to fight for it. I just want to get my Stone of Gaia. Embrace of Radiance, if you're above 50% health, you get increased power. I believe it's 5%. Uh, no, 10%. And then if you're below 50% health, you get 50% increased movement speed. So it's like, a, it's like a sprint that you can have all the time. And all you have to do is walk in the effect, and then you get it for a duration. She's probably going to take this in time. Because she is soul with mannequins. Unless she's not going for it. Ayo. Second relic, we'll probably wait to see what she gets. Oh, she got Sunder. Okay, if she got Sunder, I might get a Curse Stonk, to be honest. That way I don't have to go Pestilence. An upgraded Curse Stonk against Soul. Sounds pretty good. Damn, she does damage. Dang, she does damage. Oh wait, we get the Stone of Gaia proc on her, on her ultimate, which is good. I forgot about that. So it's not like we're not getting it at all.
Oh my god. No, no, no. No, she turned around. Oh man, I've tried, you guys. Oh man, it's so hard to beat souls. Uh, we could do this. I'm gonna get cursed on. She's healing so much. Even if I did hit her, she was healing so, so much there. Nice thing is that as a magical ADC, she can't build something like kin size as well. She can go Soul Reaver, but she's not going to do that on Soul. I don't have uh, Divine Ruin yet, so I kind of have to be careful about this. Damn, she heals a lot. We're also going to need a Chronos Pennant as well. Chronos Pennant will be important. Damn, dude, the Sunder. Okay, okay. Just need to hit my three. Okay, cool. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Two and two, the even game, even game. Once again, this is incredibly difficult. <laughs> uh, Soul is definitely one of the top tiers right now. Red buff's up as well. I would love to take it. But I also want to clear the wave a little bit. Cool. All right, let's back. Now we're going to get Divine, and we're going to start working towards Chronos Pennant for cooldown. For <laughs> because I do need cooldown pretty damn often. This is good. Having our Divine Runes awesome, because Soul 1 healing is honestly one of the, one of the better healings in the Dual Gods. Uh, it heals percent missing health, which is why when a Soul pops it and she's at 1 HP, she just gets so much healing. I'm surprised she hasn't gone for Demon King yet. That's unusual for souls. But hey, good for me. Oh, oh you got a sentry, eh? I can get a sentry too. I didn't even have time to buy my tier 2 item. Okay, never mind. Just in case she was going straight for Demon King, but she was not. So I'm not too worried. Alright. Just in case. I had to be sure, you know what I mean? Looks like she's not going for it, which is cool. It also looks like she's not recalling. Yeah, she knows this is spawning exactly then. Damn. I don't think she saw me take it either. Damn. That left click sure is strong, ain't it, Soul? That left that left click sure is strong. Try to apply my divine ruin to her. Oh, she just gave me more healing with my Stone of Gaia. Let's go. Why did my two not go off? I, w I was going to use my two cancel it and then kill her. Because I had to hit her with the knockup. That sucks. That sucks so much. 
That is so unfortunate. We can stay because we have natural healing with Sonagaya, but man. Now where is she going? Is she planning on going for Demon King? She is. No, she's just staying. I do need to hit her with my divine. All right, let's out. Let's go out. Wow, she is healing so much. Okay. Yeah, she still got that. That's so unfortunate. <clears throat> Place my bracer of radiance. Should help a little bit. Alright, she's definitely gonna get a sentry to kill that. She she currently doesn't have one, but you know. So we'll back and get another sentry as well. I really want to back after this wave. This will be a good opportunity to back. Alright, well, we're gonna back. We're gonna get Crow's Pennant. We're gonna get another sentry. Oh man, dude. You call this sharp? This is duller than you. I need health. Health, 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 health. East staff. <laughs> East staff. That's what I that's what the build was. <laughs> it's a really weird build, but it works against these magical ADCs, kind of. I mean the game's even and usually I get steamrolled against these magical ADCs, so I guess that's good, right? There's the sentry, but I already got a sentry to counter that one, so you know we're good. She doesn't have any anti heal thank God. Because I'm actually killing so much. Her ultimate actually healing me is just so good. Alright. We don't want her to back. This is good. There's her shell. There we go. That's what I meant to do that last fight in the jungle. Use my two and then cancel my all. But I guess there's a weird timing on it. Okay, we can't take Demon King. I can't take Tower either. But what I can do is I can take my blue buff and counter her ward. We don't really win until the respawn timer gets hell of a lot longer. Even villains need to watch their back. We can also take these, because why not? Alright, back. Let's get East Death. <laughs> oh my goodness. A weapon for a villain. <laughs> the healing we are about to receive from Stone of Gaia is going to be insane we're already at 3200 health there's oh wait i didn't get a sentry i got regular wards whoops my mistake oh she's just going for it man she's just going for it well that's pretty fun but that's okay She's not recalling? Okay, cool. We're basically delaying her Demon King time. Even if she recalls here, that's a victory for me. Or if I get the kill, of course. Hey, let's go. That's good. That's really good for us. Look, we have the entire wave. That's so, 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 so good. And with Stone of Guy, we're healing so much as well. I should try to tank this for the minions. I have, I have a lot of health. I don't have physical protection, so. Okay. Can I take this? If I die here, it's worth. This is 100% worth if I die for it.
And now we just run. Racer Radiance gives us movement speed. Let's go. Let's go with Talisman Reggie as well. Ayo, hey, it's working. All right, she went for red buff, which means I can recall. We now get E-Staff. We're also going to upgrade this into Sigil of the Old Guard, which gives us 75 magical protection, but also gives us some physical protection for that mannequins. Uh, I can't afford E-Staff because of that, but that's all right. And now when we ult, we are, like, insanely tanky. Like, we have so much mitigation in our ult. Okay. Even villains need to watch their back. All right, all right. Alright. Her escape is down. The thing that gives her, uh, you know, the invincibility. So this is really good to use. And there we go, dude! We're just so tanky. We're so tanky, yes! The counter to mannequins on these stupid auto attack mages. Yes! Because again, what are they going to do? Build Soul Reaver? <laughs> Build Soul Reaver on Soul? Is the double defense kind of scummy? Yeah, but man, I will do anything to stop fighting these auto attack mages with mannequins. It's so hard to counter build someone that has two types of damage. But here we are. Again, shout out to that Billy man who suggested this build. He suggested just for any game, but... I felt like it was specifically good in this type of matchup exactly. And there we go. I do think the counter to this build though is anti-heal. If they get anti-heal, then you don't have the sustain from so Stone Gaia. But however, you can just back up and then heal out of combat with the Stone Gaia healing. But uh yeah, no, anti-heal is kind of a must against this build. And that's GG's man. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.